Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Have you ever designed an enclosure in ePlan Pro panel and ran out of space? It might be very time consuming to move all of those components into a new enclosure. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easy exchange the enclosures in ePlan Pro panel. Alright, what can happen in ePlan Pro Panel, especially when you build new enclosures, is that you place components out of your 3D melting layout navigator and you figure out that you're running out of space. It can be very time consuming to move all of those components into the new enclosure. Luckily, there is a functionality in ePlan Pro Panel to exchange enclosures. In order to exchange enclosures in ePlan Pro Panel, all what you need to do is select the enclosure in the layout space navigator, click right mouse click and use the exchange parts functionality. If you click exchange parts, then ePlan jumps into the part selection and now you can um, select the enclosure which you would like to place instead. So I currently have placed the Rital 80 17 600 enclosure which is a 600 times 600 enclosure. I would like to have a little bit more space, so I will select this 801707 enclosure, which as you can see is a 600 times 760 enclosure. So all what you need to do is select the enclosure and press OK. If the enclosure contains of multiple macro variants, you can choose between the variants. In this case, I will just select variant A. And by pressing OK, the software will now move those components which are placed in the enclosure into the new enclosure. And if possible, place those components on the correct mounting surface. In this case, you see 48 components were placed on a new mounting surface. And we receive more space in the enclosure. What I will recommend you to do is try to replace the enclosures with similar enclosures. That means that you, that you have a similar structure of the enclosures. Otherwise, it can happen that the components may not be able to be placed on their correct mounting surface and you will have to afterwards rearrange them. So you will usually then get here over the first um, surface and information uh, the components were not placed correctly and then you can select them and assign them to the correct surface. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. Do you remember since when does ePlan have the exchange parts functionality? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.